Monroe Inc. MNRO occupies an enviable niche within the auto segment, making the bulk of its revenue from the repair, replacement, and servicing of essential parts that are not covered by new car warranties. Tires, maintenance, and brakes accounted for nearly 90% of revenue in FY17. Despite making 44 acquisitions over the past 16 fiscal years, the company's balance sheet is extremely healthy. The growth runway is long because of Monroe's concentration in the East Coast, and investors are aware of this. The stock is trading at a premium but I believe it's got enough momentum to justify the 9% annual growth expectation from the market. Buying on a pullback after a poor quarter or on the dips would be the right way to approach this stock. Source, 2017 Annual Report As we can see, tires account for nearly half of the company's sales, while maintenance brakes, exhaust, and steering brought in the rest. The older a car becomes, the higher the maintenance requirement. And recent data shows that the age of the average car in the United States has been on the rise for a while. Source, Statista Monroe has certainly carved out a nice position in this market as a go-to repair, services, and tire change company, at least in the eastern United States. Unfortunately, the tire segment is a low-margin business, especially when it's driven by sales without installations, which is exactly what Monroe went through in FY17 because of the Clark Tire acquisition in 2QFY17. Moreover, during the third quarter of the current fiscal year, the company reported a drop of 60 basis points in gross margins for the first nine months of FY18. It also reported a 0.7% drop in comparable store sales from the year-ago period. According to company data, the Do It For Me segment is worth nearly $200 billion. It's highly fragmented as well, with many small and regional players in the fray. Against this industry backdrop, Monroe is trying to become a national player with a substantial presence. It will certainly take a long time to achieve that, but as long as the company continues with its steady and slow approach to expansion and keeps buying smaller companies along the way, I don't see any problem with the company achieving that status. Monroe has increased its sales for the last 16 consecutive years. Acquisitions certainly played a huge hand in helping the company grow in a steady manner. Completed 44 acquisitions in the last 16 fiscal years, encompassing 674 stores and $900 million of revenue. Including 26 acquisitions in the past five fiscal years, adding 358 locations, $500 million in revenue and entry into eight new states, company presentation source, company presentation thankfully, the company's balance sheet still remains healthy despite all the acquisitions over the years. At the end of third quarter, Monroe had $7.8 million cash on hand against long-term debt of $195.46 million. The company paid $17.99 million as interest and another $17.96 million as dividends during the first three quarters of the current fiscal year, while operating income for the period was $96.86 million. There is plenty of room in the balance sheet to allow the company to keep doing acquisitions, while also increasing the dividend payout. Investment case Despite the comps and margin problems that the company currently faces, its fundamentals are still strong, as is its balance sheet. Moreover, its industry niche will serve it well as cars in the U.S. age further. MNRO data by YCharts MNRO PE ratio, forward data by YCharts Despite the dramatic price drop at the start of the current calendar year, the stock is still trading at a forward PE of 21. Ben Graham's intrinsic value calculator shows that the market is expecting a 9% or higher growth rate over the long term. 
Monroe has forecasted for 10% to 11% growth rate for the current fiscal. The company is quite capable of achieving high single-digit growth but to achieve that kind of growth over the long term is not going to be easy, and it clearly shows there is quite a significant premium attached at the current level. This is a good company operating in a great business segment that will remain relevant for many more decades to come. Monroe is a buy, but I would advise investors to wait for a pullback before investing, just to add that extra margin of safety. This company is not going anywhere, so add it to your watch list and play the waiting game. Disclosure, I, we have no positions in any stocks mentioned, and no plans to initiate any positions within the next 72 hours. I wrote this article myself, and it expresses my own opinions. I am not receiving compensation for it, other than from Seeking Alpha. I have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this article.